Okay, hi, today I'm going to show you how to salvage a brushless motor fan and wire it into a charger or a plug so you can use this for uh, any application you want to. I think the primary application I'm going to use it for is my Xbox because they tend to overheat and everyone knows about the red ring of death. But to be honest, I do have the new Xbox which they say is a uh, very limited chance of getting the actual RROD but I'm not going to trust it anyway I'm going to get this um, because it will give more air to the surrounding Xbox more air will be able to be sucked into the Xbox and it will keep it cooler the more fans the better okay I got this brushless motor fan it's around about 12 volt and it's a 0.17 amp as you can see it's got two wires I've actually taken one off there, just to demonstrate. And the plug I've got has a voltage just underneath that of 11.2 volts and it's a 0 0.14 amp, so it's underneath 0 0.17. It says milliamps on that one, it says 140 milliamps. Um, I'm going to be using this, it's just under so it won't overheat the actual fan, but it'll keep it at a steady rate. It will be just about, well, just under power, just a bit. But um, I'm going to be using this. Uh, the adapter end for this will be this. Depending on what you want to do, you can cut this off, snip that, and then rewire it through that. So like each wire to each wire. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it through. So through there. And that should keep some good contact. I've actually like sprayed it like a... Uh, keep the end like split open like all the little wires at the end, but I've twisted the actual wire to keep the strength at the end. You're going to need some wire cutters to take off the end for that, so I've taken that off. Um, what you want to do is you get some electrical tape or insulation. Um, make sure the plug's actually switched off before you actually stick the um, this in, the actual plug. The so yeah, you want to turn the socket off, just for any faults. Um, I think you should be okay with the earthen pin. Oh, actually, no, that one's plastic. But um, you should be okay. Like it should be fairly safe due to the safety of these modern day plugs. But what you want to do is wrap that in insulation tape. Um, yeah, basically keep that all taped up. Uh, plug it, this into the socket. Switch the switch on, and this should go at a steady rate. Okay, I'm going to post another video on me testing this out through a plug. So, thank you for watching.